Tributes are pouring in from across our area after the death of Meyer's former president. 90-year-old Earl Holton passed away on Friday and left an incredible mark on our community. News 6's Byron Tollefson has more on how he's being remembered. Byron. Earl Holton was loved and appreciated by people in many fields, not only business, but also medicine, education, and much more. Earl Holton started from humble roots, working at a local Meyer supermarket in December of 1952, one of just six stores at the time. As the company grew, Holton worked his way up the ladder and eventually became Meyer's president from 1980 to 1999. He was also vice chairman of the company's board until 2004. Hank Meyer, Meyer's executive chairman, tells News 8 that Holton played a key role growing and developing the company. But Meyer says the impact on the company was surpassed by the impact he made on our community through his philanthropy. He was an incredible figure, an incredible leader. Grand Valley State University President Philly Mantella says Holton holds a special place in all their hearts. He has been a leader in this community um, in West Michigan for 40 years um, and have been a leader at GVSU right alongside all of that. Holton served on Grand Valley's Board of Trustees in the Grand Valley University Foundation Advisory Cabinet and received an honorary doctorate degree in business administration. He and his wife, Donna Lee, supported new centers on campus, scholarships and endowments. A new living and learning center was dedicated to Holton in 2016. It's one of the places and spaces where our students want to be. It is the future in many ways. According to his obituary, Holton was most proud of co-chairing the capital campaign that created Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. He also had a major impact on the medical field here. He chaired the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital Committee, bringing a team together and planning the new hospital that opened in 2011. He also co-chaired the fundraising campaign for the Fred and Lena Meyer Heart Center. The Lemon Holton Cancer Pavilion was also dedicated in his honor back in 2008. Mantella says he touched so many lives. Sort of halos of impact that a man um, with that kind of leadership brings to a community and brings to an institution. And our community wouldn't be the same without him. Love him, gonna miss him, uh, and my heart and prayers are with the family. Holton is survived by his wife, Donna Lee. They met in August of 1952 and were married for 71 years. Holton is also survived by four children, eight grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, and a step-great-granddaughter.